So we're going to talk about what you do when your exponent is a fraction. Okay, so it kind of looks like this x to the one half, x to the one third, x to the one fourth. And so we're going to talk about what that actually means really quickly before I show you how to do it. So remember, this is called a square root symbol right here, square root. This is a cube root, and this is a fourth root. So there's an understood two here, even though you don't see it. And that translates to one half, one third, and one fourth. Notice the number here goes into the bottom because it's the root. And remember how we talked about, like in a tree, right? The roots, or in a flower, the roots are at the bottom. So always remember the root is in the bottom. And you need to remember what an exponent means. Remember, if you have x to the third, that means you, you have three x's that you're multiplying together. So when you have a fraction, it means you don't even want a whole. You want one out of the two roots. So that's how this looks. So x to the third means there's a three as the exponent and a four is the root. We're going to write it more like this than like this, just because it's easier to simplify when you have larger problems. So let's simplify this problem right here. Don't forget the six to every number and every letter has an exponent. So the 16 has a one here. Since we have parentheses here, that means the one fourth is actually touching everything inside. And when you distribute the one fourth, it goes to everything inside. So you start out with 16 to the one times one fourth, and then a eight times one fourth as well. Eight times one fourth, remember, this is a fraction, and you're really saying, what is one fourth of eight? Or you can simplify. You can simplify it to a eight over four when you multiply, which gives you a two, or you can simplify before you multiply, right? One, two, two over one. It gives you the same thing, a two. That's the easier one. The numbers are a little trickier because since it's a fourth root, just like with x3, you have three x's, it's one fourth, you've got to break 16 up into four roots. So let's talk about how we can break up 16. If you're not sure, you can always just go multiplication. 16 is eight times two, wonderful. Eight is what? Four times two, and you can break up four, two, two. So if you notice, you have, here are four equal roots of 16, and they have to be equal because just like exponents, all these are equal as well. So 16 to the 1 fourth, remember the roots are in the bottom, so you're breaking up the roots, the 4 is the root, and it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is indeed 16. The 1 is telling you how many you want. So I want one of these roots. So that means I just want one of them. Your or, you can say I'm raising two to the power of one, and that gives me two. So this final answer is going to be two times a squared. Now, if you would have had 16 to the 3 fourths, again, the root is in the bottom. It is four, two, three, four. So two times two times two times two, and you would have wanted, wanted three of those roots, one, two, three, or you wanted to raise two to the third power. And that both ways, two times two times two and two to the third give you eight. So you really have to look at this, these numbers up here. First, you break it down into the roots, and then you do the exponent.